Welcome back. I'm with my friend, Reg White, and I'm so honored to have you on the show today. Thank you, Reg, for joining me. You're most welcome. So, Reg, you're Citizen of the Year formerly. You've been on the Arborundum. You've been on multiple boards. I believe you might have even saved City Hall at uh, one point in time. Um, and then we're going on to your next project is the, Strat the Stratford Shakespearean Garden. So tell us about that project and that garden. Well, it's uh, just to make it very quick. Um, I was on the Worth Park management way back in the 70s, and I was uh, uh, responsible for the Shakespearean Garden. So I had an interest back a long time ago. Uh, over the years, I had other involvements and haven't been able to go back to it. Um, I moved to uh, uh, William Street, and I'm very close, of course, to the Shakespearean Garden. And I started making a uh, little visits to the garden. I then had a colleague join me and we started making assessments of uh, what that garden could be, what the problems are within the garden. And uh, so that's how we got started. Perfect. Now the garden started actually, I think they used to call it Shakespeare land. And then the city got involved with it. The tower that we see or the chimney uh, 1922, there was a woolen mill there that burnt to the ground and left that chimney. What are you going to do with the chimney? Well, the chimney, of course, has a superstructure on top of it uh, with bird uh, boxes that are now closed. That's another story I won't go into. And that all should be restored. That needs to be the superstructure itself. When you tear, take a pair of binoculars and look up the top, needs repair. So what we are suggesting at some point, and we're not involved in trying to do that project just yet, but it needs to be restored, it needs to be painted, it needs a new weather vane on top. Yes, and the other thing too, I think there's a lot of uh, walls there, stone walls, like 80 meters of them. Is that gonna be um, one of the projects to rebuild those? No, the, the existing, uh, in the restore, at least in the Shakespearean Garden um, original setting, we will not be touching that. That's not our, uh, idea. So then you're going to be replanting and rebuilding. What are, you, what are you going to do in terms of the garden itself? Well, for instance, let's just really quick about it. We have a long bed, a long perennial bed, and that long perennial bed is 280 feet long, and it uh, has not looked good for a long, long time. So we did a lot of research and got a hold of the Canadian Peony Society, and this fall, they're going to present, or uh, donate, I should say, um, uh, what up to about 50 root stocks. And that will dramatically uh, change the look of that long perennial bed. But in addition to that, what we would like to see uh, are arbors about every 50 feet. In other words, a garden should have a vertical element as well as a flat base. So one of the ideas is we want to raise money to get those arbors installed there. And um, then, of course, naturally, we just finished uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, pre presenting the garden with uh, 50 roses to completely restore uh, the garden, uh, the rose garden section. So um, that's uh, one thing we did. We, had, um, we presented an urn. When you have a long perennial bed and you have a path, there should be a focal point at the end. And so we got an urn down at the far end. So um, that's, uh, and then of course, something maybe uh, I should be jumping back to is that when we, when Colleen and I got together, we decided in the midst of COVID, hey, we gotta do something. So we sat down and created a first visitor's brochure for that garden. In its 86th year, we have never had a brochure. So we created one. And Quinn Malott, the, who was the head of the whole park system, uh, was quite impressed. So I know you're mentioning about Colleen Devine, so that's great. Uh, how are you both working with the city and the parks board on this? Well, first of all, uh, back in 2019, we had a meeting with, the, a formal meeting with the parks board and that, uh, that went extremely well. And we have an ongoing uh, relationship, day-to-day uh, -day relationship with Quinn Malott, who is the man who actually runs the system. And um, it, we get along absolutely beautifully. 
Reg, thank you for joining me. Thank you for beautifying the city of Stratford and your legacy of just making this a great place to live. Thank you, Reg. Thank you very much, Peter. Coming up next is the two-time Olympian champion, Julia Wilkinson. <laughs>